osteopetrosis ni aina ya maradhi ambayo sifa yake ni kuvunjika ovyo kwa mifupa hali inayotokana na mifupa kuwa migumu na nzito kupita kiasi it's like glass so the bone yes is thick thicker than a normal bone but breaks easily like glass hii jo jo yangu kutoka hapa hapa mpaka sina James Munge mkazi wa kaunti ya Kiambu ana umri wa miaka 49 na hali yake ya ulemavu ni matokeo ya kuugua osteopetrosis late 1992 in Kanunga High School nilianguka tu kwa mtalo kidogo nikapelekwa hospitali by then ilikuwa masaba hospital but two days na ilo bibi women hospital nilitibiwa na nikapona na nikarudi shule but later on in 2010 ndio nilifujika tena the same same ile mugu tena munge hutamani sana miaka yake ya hapo mbeleni alipokuwa na uwezo wa kutekeleza shughuli zake bila ugumu wowote munge aliwahi kuwa mpiga picha shupavu na hali kadhalika mpishi katika mkahawa ulioko bungeni mtu anakuaga na malafiki wakati yako sawa wakati huko kabila huko unaweza kuwa na marafiki wengi sana juu ni utanituma nitakutuma tutasaidiana jinsi miaka ilivyosonga hali ya munge ilizidi kudorora na safari za kusaka matibabu zikawa chungu nzima kwenda india wakaangalia wakasema hii mguu imefujika unawekwa pleats ikifujika ni pleats ikifujika ni pleats kwa hivyo hata tukitengeneza your bones are dead mimi katibiwa miguu na nikarudi hapa Although nothing changed. Sasa ndiko hapa na kaa hivi. Osteopetrosis basically is a genetic disease. And genetic disease either means that you inherited this condition or you developed this condition when you were forming. Kulingana na Michael Mwaora ambaye ni mpasuaji wa mifupa, anafafanua kuwa ugonjwa huu ni nadra mno ila unapougua huwa kizungumkuti. Remember the cranium is a bone and some of these nerves come from uh, they, they go through some tiny holes in the cranium so from the brain to the eyes to the ears so those holes where the nerves are going through they become compressed because the bone is very dense and therefore what happens is they are going to come with things like blindness they are going to come with things like deafness mtu anapougua osteopetrosis kiungo kinachodhibiti ukuaji wa mifupa yani osteoclast huadhirika na kupelekea mifupa kukua bila udhibiti kiasi cha kuwa kizuizi kwa utengenezaji wa uboho yani bone marrow you have a thick bone without a bone marrow and that is why some of these people will come with they will present with things like low blood level because remember in the bone marrow we have the blood cells being formed so you get people coming with anemia you check their blood they have low blood they are complaining of dizziness they may need to get transfusion zaidi ya miaka 20 baadaye Munge ni mkulima shupavu ila kila baada ya saa tatu, uchungu humzidi na kumlazimisha kupumzika. Anatuonesha jinsi alivyobuni namna ya kufanya shughuli zake shambani, hatua ambayo imempelekea kufanya biashara ya kuuza mboga. Wakati kuna maji wanapaga raini, unawauzia. Munge sasa angetaka sana kutibiwa ili kurejea maisha ya hapo awali kwani tayari amejifunza kutosha kutoka kwa madhila ya maradhi. Kwa sekunde au dakika chache tu nina uwezo wa kutembea umbali wowote katika boma hili kutoka langoni kuelekea chumbani na hata shambani. Lakini kwa mzee Munge utekelezaji wa shughuli humu nyumbani kwake ni changamoto ila sawa na walivyo nina wahenga kuwa kuvunjika kwa mwiko sio mwisho wa kupika ule mavu wake sio kizuizi cha ndoto zake maishani Ben Kirera K24 makala ya siha yangu kutoka kaunti ya Kiambu